Have you been outside? Not since 2.30 in the morning. It's miserable. It's not nice it, it, out there. It's like walking into just a wall of humidity. Yeah, pieces. It's, yeah. it's soupy yeah. <laughs> and sticky and muggy and any any kind of word that you can use to just describe that. That's that's what we have today. There's guys. a bright side on the horizon. There is. You we know just, me. I'm always looking for the bright side. Got to look on the sunny side of yeah. life. <laughs> the bright side of life. But it is. It's going to be a good end to the week. We have to get through today, and once we do. Again, it will be feeling nice by Thursday, Friday, and especially into this coming weekend. Now we're taking a look at Spring Garden Street as we just move into the early afternoon hours and we have blue skies now, but that wasn't the case early on. We did have some early morning clouds. We had some haze, a little bit of fog that developed because it was just so muggy this morning, but that has all burned off. And again, we're looking at some pretty much just bright blue sunny skies now as we move into the early afternoon hours. But this all comes at a price and it's high heat and high humidity. Our heat advisory today goes into effect in just under an hour, one o'clock this afternoon till eight o'clock this evening. All the areas shaded in that orange. We're going to be going with that heat advisory heat index values today, 98 to maybe as high as 103. So very dangerous heat. It's heat that we haven't seen really since the beginning of the month of August. So you have to think back to all of those safety tips that we think about throughout the uh, summertime, where we talk about taking frequent breaks, lots of water, staying in the shade. You got to remember all that because today is going to be one of those heat days where we could have potentially some problems. Now temperatures for the most part right now are in the 80s. We're seeing 80. 85 in Allentown, Philly. Now it's 87 in Wilmington. It gets a little bit warmer as you head towards Millville and Dover, where we're sitting at 88 degrees. When you add in the humidity, which currently have dew points sitting in the 60s and 70s, check out these dew points from Millville back down towards Wildwood. Upper 70s, Wilmington as well, coming in at 76. So this air is just extremely heavy, is extremely humid, and it does not feel good outside. Already pushing triple digit heat index values from Dover through Millville and back towards Wildwood, where we got 99. It feels like it's 92 right now here in Philly, feeling like 94 as you head up towards Reading, and it's only going to get worse as we go through the day. Check out our future feels like temperatures by 3, 4 o'clock this afternoon, feeling like 98 or more here in Philly. There's those triple digit heat index values Dover and Millville. But again, we could pretty much see anywhere across the I-95 corridor a chance for triple digit heat index values. Storm scan three cold fronts off to our west. That's our system that's going to be pulling through as we go through the later portions of today and tonight. It's going to bring us some showers and thunderstorms that could start to fire up as early as six o'clock this evening, really kind of pushing through the early overnight hours and lasting then into about the mid overnight as well. By midnight tonight, most of the strongest storms are going to diminish, but a few light showers could linger. It looks like into our Wednesday morning, but all those clear skies well on the backside of that front mean that tomorrow afternoon it should be OK. We do have a severe weather threat today from the Poconos and parts of the northern Lehigh Valley. Gusty winds and torrential rains are possible as that front comes through. That's where our slight risk is and some stronger storms even possible down here into the Delaware Valley as well. 93 degrees for the high temperature today, 84 tomorrow, and we continue to cool it down as we get into Thursday and Friday as well. Some lower 80s and the guys even 70s. It Loving looks like as we this. head into the weekend and not only that, the humidity is going to be much, much lower, especially Thursday, Friday and then into the weekend as well. Yeah. Jim, you and I are on the same yes, page. I good. love this kind of early fall time or hell. I'm not sure how you feel about I it, actually but do. it's great for runners. Well, 80 degrees it is not fall, but at least it's not humid. I mean, that's no. the here. Here's so look at that. That's a great to. weekend. Mm -hmm. I know. And like you said, I know it's not fall, but maybe just in my head, I'm already ready hey, for yeah. it. <laughs> I'll go with you there. All right. Thank, Thank you, you Matt. Matt.